Hey everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I'm in Bangkok, Thailand. This evening, I am eating at Talat Rot Phai Rachada, which is the train market. This is one of the most popular night markets in Bangkok. There's a ton of street food, but specifically tonight, this evening, I am here to eat, I think they call it the XXL. It's a gigantic bowl of lobster tom yum, probably the biggest one I've ever seen. So we're gonna eat that. Uh, we're gonna eat some street food, and I'm gonna share it all with you in this video right now. It's a really popular night market, especially with younger people who come here to hang out, to eat street food, to go shopping. And just a quick piece of history about Talat Rot Phai. In Thai, that actually directly translates to the train market. And I remember years and years ago, the market actually started on the railroad tracks. There was an empty lot, so it started right next to the railroad tracks near Chatu Chak. Uh, but that plot of land, I believe, was eventually sold or, or something changed. Um, and then the market shifted to two different locations, this being the most popular location. So there's no more railroad track, but the market still retains its vintage, uh, classic feel to it. And I am not planning to eat the XXL jumbo, gigantic bowl of Tom Yum Lobster myself. I'm gonna meet up with my buddy Ramon. Hey, Ramon. How are you? Awesome, how are you, man? Good, good, good. Hi, long time to see you. Have you told Ramon what we're gonna eat first? Nope. <laughs> what are you gonna eat first? You, we are gonna go I eat. think we should wait. Uh, okay, okay, let's wait. Let's just, let's just go wait and see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the main reason why we're here today. So everybody say hello to Ramon. Hey, how's it going, guys? We've been friends for many years in Bangkok, uh, but Ramon, he's an extremely talented artist. Uh, I'll leave his channel in the description box below. And Ramon loves to eat. She's actually still preparing all the tom yum stock, so we have to wait a little while. Uh, but in the meantime, right across the lane, we're, we're gonna try some. Again. Typically, Thai kanom krok are little coconut griddle cakes, and they make them in uh, that the half circle shape. Um, they sizzle away, and it's kind of a sweet, savory coconut pudding. Uh, but this one is the most extreme version I've ever seen. It looks like kind of like a crossbred between uh, a takoyaki, a Japanese street food, and Thai kanom krok. Cheers. <laughs> Yeah, that is pretty good. Crispy and crunchy on the bottom, but gooey on the top. And then you've got that change of texture with the squid. Dangerously tasty, oily snack. Imitation crab has never been my favorite, but it all kind of melts together though, kind of nicely. <laughs> yeah, it definitely melts. <laughs> you got that crunch at the bottom, it's really good. Mm -hmm. Perfect timing, she's getting started on the lobster. It's gonna simmer for about 15 minutes, uh, and then after that, hopefully, we'll, we'll get them assembling the gigantic bowl of tom yum. Are those, is that crab? Right? <laughs> Ramon and I were gonna walk around as we wait for that lobster to boil, but we didn't make it far, like literally right across the alley from where we're gonna eat the tom yum. They're female crabs, so you can see those eggs just blooming. It's like, they're, they're like yolks pouring out of the crab. When you order it, she makes it into a green mango salad. So she uh, first adds some green mango, some julienne green mango, then she adds the crab on top, then she adds some dressing, which is just loaded with chilies and garlic. Oh, cup, cup. she's gonna give you a glove. Cup. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. All right. The spice doesn't kick in until after, but that sauce that they have there is just really, really potent. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's insane. Oh, it's so rich. It, it just melts in your mouth. It's so garlicky. I think we forgot to mention, it's raw crab. Let me scoop up some of that green mango at the bottom there, and it's just, it's just like soaked in that dressing with chilies all over it. Mm. Perfectly crisp. It's refreshing, sweet and salty and sour. 
They also have normal sized bowls of Tom Yum noodles here. She's making a bowl of normal. This is our bowl. And that's gonna be full soon. Oh man, she's just she's just gonna lure it with seafood. Okay, first goes in the squid. They literally emptied those trays into our giant. It's a basin. It's not even a bowl. It's a basin. Dude, Ramon, I don't know if we should have eaten those snacks. Dude, this thing, you gotta come take a look. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Now comes the soup. <laughs> this thing is absolutely giganormous. It's, it's so massive, and you would actually think that the noodles are below here. But let me tell you, there are no noodles in this bowl. That, it's, it, the foundation is all fish. All the noodles are on a separate plate over here and over here. Oh, I just got stabbed by the lobster. You could bathe a newborn in this. <laughs> yeah, actually, we did. <laughs> this is the most colossal bowl of Tom Yum, maybe in the world. This is an average bowl. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <laughs> just go here. Yeah, just hold that up. There's so much seafood, it's hard to even navigate where the soup is, but there is a lot of soup down there. Okay, I'm gonna dig in, in on this side of the lobster and just get some of that soup broth first. We gotta... I found a spot here. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. It's pretty awesomely good, really nice and sour. You taste the herbs in there, you taste that saku. Despite being like covered in chilies, it's not actually spicy. He could go swimming in this with the seafood. Literally. Uh, <laughs> what do you want to dive into first? Well, let's go for, yeah, we, for we, the lobster. We got to go yeah. for the, the trophy right there in the center. And this is the, the gigantic centerpiece. I think we should just kind of go in and scoop it out, kind of leverage, <laughs> leverage this guy out. There's the buttery head juice melting in there. Wow, that is a that is a huge chunk, very muscular. You want to get a little bit of soup in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tender. Yet at the same time a little bit muscular and yeah, just wrapped up in that salty sour tum yum broth. All right, let's go for the fish because they're the entire foundation literally the entire bottom of this basin is all fish. There's so much fish down there, and we can kind of like, oh, you can dig from there, you can dig from all over. There's, it's just, it's just sprouting with fish. In Thai, the name of the fish is called Bradori, um, and we have a lot of it to eat. It's a very, very soft fish. Really soft, really tender. Because it's sitting at the bottom of the bowl, it's definitely absorbed quite a lot of tom yum. So that's like a, that's like a fish tom yum sponge. <laughs> Whoa, you could grab the whole bite if you want to. <laughs> they are definitely stuck together. They have been sitting here for a little while. <laughs> yes. You dip this into the soup, you rehydrate it in the soup, and then you, and then you eat it. Let's try one of the mussels. And I think what we can kind of do, fill up, oh man, you've got the, you've got the right idea. Just scoop up some of the, the broth. Just pour it on there, the natural spoon. Cheers. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mine is only half cooked, so it kind of like melts in your mouth. But I like it that way. Mm. You've got to use a lot of different utensils for this bowl. Some things you got to eat with chopsticks, some things you got to eat with a spoon, some things we just got to reach in with our hands. Just again. Let's go in for these shrimp. And these are freshwater shrimp, I believe. This head just sort of falls off, but there should be some goodness inside that head as well. One of the great things about this tom yum soup is that you can, you can dip all your seafood too. It's a sauce and a broth. 
and then you can suck up all the goodness from the head. Oh man, from the head, that's where it's at. That juicy butteriness. Dripping with goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I think crab is next. Little crab drumsticks. Everything is saturated with tom yum. And it's soft and spongy. And mm -hmm. You can always just re-dip. Rehydrate. I'm gonna do the spoon method, grabbing a piece of the squid with some of the broth all at once. Oh. At first you think it's gonna be a little rubbery, but then it just chews so easily. Oh, yeah. Not at all. Yeah. So which one is your favorite? Out of all of the seafood, Oh man, I mean, the lobster is just a, a special trophy item, but the mussels are also, also mussels are excellent. Actually, How about actually you? yeah, I was gonna say the mussels. The mussels, are, my favorite, the mussels are great. You got that? Yeah, it's yeah. soft, and you got that like spoonful of tom yum in there. It's just really flavorful. Oh, mm, good. Good. Now that we've tasted everything, Ramon and I are just kind of snacking on this giant bowl leisurely, just nibbling away it's really good actually I like the squid the squid it almost it's almost so soft that it almost has like a cheese like a mozzarella elasticity to it it's not the most fresh seafood that you'll ever have it, but it's, it's pretty decent and the flavor is pretty good uh, you really want to eat this for the ginormous size and just for the how how awesome it is to look at this is amazing and like you should see the looks on the people that walk by. Because oh man, they they look people, at it and yeah. take pictures of it. <laughs> Some people actually stop and put like their their cell phone right above our bowl of of tom yum and take a photo. It's great. It's absolutely great. This is a this is a showstopper. Yeah, attention grabber. Mm-hmm. Ramon's digging out the head. The juiciest parts are in here. Dude, that just like plops. I don't think I got it all, but that looks like a cave. <laughs> Head butter. <laughs> it just melts on your tongue. Yeah. Not knowing Hello. Oh hey. You too. Thank you very much. How's the how's the tom yum? Where are you from? Awesome. Nice to meet you. Quick update, we've been eating pretty pretty steadily for about 30 minutes. And we are we have made a lot of progress. You think we can do it, Ramon? I think so. I think we can do it. We will definitely see the bottom. See the bottom of this. Definitely at the very home stage. If you if you rummage your chopsticks through here now, you come up almost almost empty and there's, there's there's a few things to go to go fishing for. We are pretty much at the finish line. For a drink? Together. <laughs> I don't know if we can drink it together, can we? <laughs> that is a lot of salty broth at the bottom there. <laughs> All right, Ramon. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like drinking out of a bathtub. <laughs> All right, Ramon, we gotta do this. He'll still a few, few pieces of fish. We're like moving extra slow right now. I've had to undo like a belt pole. I had to like had move to, down like, the next notch. Widen. Yeah, I had to widen my hands a little bit. We do have one final bite, Ramon. Thinking about getting up, but we just we just can't physically stand up right now. How are you feeling, Ramon? Yeah, I, I feel like I am two kilos heavier than I was <laughs> when we arrived. <laughs> the seafood has literally, I mean, it, I mean, the seafood is still here. It's at the table, but instead of being in the bowl, it's now transferred directly into our stomach. We are going to be sweating tom yum for the next few days. We're 
stumbling out of that stall, that tent, um, and now when we're leaving it's absolutely packed, but the entire market now is packed as well. I feel like I'm just floating along right now. <laughs> There's no food in this market that looks good to me right now. I think, oh yeah, oh maybe a shake. Pretty cool, pretty creative idea, this is great. After all of that salty tom yum, watermelon and ice has never tasted so good. That's the most refreshing thing I've ever had at this moment in my life. Yeah, it's nice to have a, a, a different taste in your mouth. I agree. Instead of a, I agree. Just bites of tom yum. <laughs> uh, what are your final thoughts, Ramon? Uh, well, now that I've Walked around a little bit, I think I got a little more. It's a little more room now. It's starting to settle. It's starting to starting settle. To settle. Feeling, better. Sure. Feeling better. <laughs> oh, yeah. Feeling better. But that was that was awesome. Intense. Yeah. I want to say a huge thank you to Ramon for helping me eat that. Uh, but we, we just had a great time, and Ramon. Again, he's, he has an awesome channel, uh, drawing channel, uh, sketches. Show people how to draw their favorite nerdy characters from comic books, movies, video games, that kind of stuff. So if you guys are interested in all that stuff, definitely uh, check it out. Link will be in the description box below. Check out Ramon, and also he loves to eat. Uh, and we just had a lot of fun. So thank you, Ramon, for joining yeah, me. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, man. Well, that's it for this video. I want to say a huge thank you for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you in the comment section below. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe now and also click that little bell icon so that you get notified of the next video that I publish. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye from Bangkok. See you on the next video.